Romania has four Kandu reactors. Two are finished. Two need to be finished. China was going to finance the Romanians in order to do this. The U.S. has stepped in and said they will finance it. This is a no-brainer. They will finance Canadian technology, stimulate our supply chains. But Canada has to be involved and has to invest in order that we can maximize Canadian content on that. While Europe struggles to find ethical, renewable sources for energy, some Canadians are pushing Canada to provide it. Canadians for Nuclear Energy say any plans for a net zero future must center nuclear energy, which they say is one of the most efficient forms of power generation. Coal is 1,000 grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour. Natural gas is about 500. We're talking life cycle, the whole process. Nuclear, from the mine, the fuel manufacturing, the construction of the nuclear plants, the decommissioning, the fuel storage, is about six grams of CO2 per kilowatt hour. That's insane, right? And this is, this is not me making up these numbers. This is the UN Economic Commission for Europe. Nuclear energy currently provides 60% of Ontario's electricity and just over 16.5% nationwide. Canada is also the world's second largest producer of uranium, an $800 million industry. One conservative lawmaker says if Canada is serious about net zero, nuclear power generation will be key. It's great that people are driving EVs, but what's the point if it's powered in the evening when you're um, recharging the batteries from natural gas? The reactors that are operating now in Ontario, and there's still one operating in New Brunswick as well, Quebec, reactor is closed, um, they are going to produce, they're going to about double the volume of current waste uh, inventory if they run their, their, their projected life. But Bernane Lloyd says before expanding nuclear, Canada must determine what will happen to nuclear waste. For decades, Ontario has been working on plans to store the spent nuclear fuel rods used in reactors. The Nuclear Waste Management Organization has identified two potential sites to bury the waste, one in northwestern Ontario, one in southwestern Ontario. But both have seen firm opposition from the community, who still have unanswered questions. I don't think that there are any issues that have actually been resolved. There's none of those technical or scientific uncertainties have actually been taken off the table. You know, the, 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 the failure rate for containers, um, the effect of uh, heat, gas generation, radiation at depth in the repository, what will that do in terms of, uh, you know, uh, creating outward pressures, the ability to even estimate uh, the geology in, in the area, let alone predict it. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.